So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is show you how to be able to convert. So you guys can understand, we see an R and we see this data. You guys can understand this is a, a polar equation, right? This isn't something you can plug into your y equals menu and go ahead and graph, right? So polar equation. We're going to learn how to graph these next class period. But for right now, I just want to show you how to convert these um, into a rectangular form that you can graph. So rectangular meaning x and y's, right? Not r's and thetas, um, r or r sign. So if I want to go ahead and convert this, here is pretty much the rules that we have established so far that we understand we, the difference between rectangular and um, polar. You guys should understand that x equals r cosine theta, right? When we look at the graph, you know, we make the triangle, right? You should understand x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. That the Pythagor Pythagorean theorem applies here. x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. And also that our trig, tangent of theta, is y of rex. Right? Do you remember me creating the triangle on the polar graph? That's where we get all these, correct? OK. So what I want to do is I want to use those to rewrite this in only terms of x and y's. OK? So what I notice here is this isn't in any of these two forms. Um, but I can get this to be in that form, right? I can get this. I want, if I can get this to maybe look like r sine theta, then I can convert it for y, correct? So what I'm going to do to get this to be r times sine of theta is I'm going to multiply by r on both sides. So now I have r squared equals 4r times the sine of theta. Does everybody see what I did and why I did that? Technically, what I now have is r squared equals 4 times r sine of theta. Right? Now, what do, why did I want to do that? I wanted to multiply by r, so I got r sine of theta, because what does r sine of theta represent? Y. y. So now I can say r squared equals 4 times y. So guess what? I got rid of the signs, right? Done. Good. Good for me. But now I need to get rid of this r squared. So then I go back. And what can I represent r squared for? Very good. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Ah, yeah. Well, and what is r squared equal to? 4y. Then <clears throat> I can subtract this to the other side. And I finally get x squared plus y squared minus 4y equals 0. And now I have a rectangular equation that I can graph. How do you graph this? Well, guys, remember this is like an ellipse, right? That you'd have to complete the square. And you guys could graph this. Teachers, pardon the interruption. At this time, would you please release all G?